What's up everyone? How's it going? In this game, we have Starflark, real Starflark, as our blue order of the dragon spawning in the northwest of Dry Arabia. Down in the southeast, we have El Sensei, aka Vortex, as our green order of the dragon. Yes, it is an order of the dragon mirror. Haven't had one of these. Generally, it'll be a variant of sorts against one another. But, such as HREOR versus Order, Zushi versus uh, Chinese, Jean d'Arc versus French, you know, variant versus the original. But here we actually have two variants going against one another, two high caliber players as well. Of course, Vortex easily, easily top three, top five best players in AoE4. As you guys can tell as well, I'm feeling a hell of a lot better this uh, today in these casts. Like, this weekend was just phenomenal. I was able, nothing really too exciting happened or anything, aside from, uh, you know, some extra nerd reactions I had on Sunday. Uh, Participated in a pre-release event for Star Wars Unlimited, the new TCG coming out, so I, I'm a huge TCG player. But anyways, I was able to relax. I was able to rest. I was able to just chill at home and actually get better, which was exactly what I needed. I woke up today a little, a little groggy, but I'm still, like, I, I'm feeling so much better. So hopefully this week, as long as I don't overexert myself, this week should be hopefully back to schedule where i'm gonna be pulling out uh three videos a day today i'm still gonna take it a little easy so today's only gonna be two starting tomorrow as long as i wake up tomorrow feeling perfectly fine and we do have our first gilded spearmint out punishing not really punishing but pushing vortex off of his gold he doesn't have enough oh just barely has enough in order to age up 203 and only needs 200 but yeah i'm feeling a lot better today as i said i'm not gonna overexert myself or anything i want to make sure that i have a full recovery because last week i did this last week i pushed myself too much and i ended up waking up feeling like complete crap the next day again so i'm at like let's say 90 percent right now i want to make sure i'm back at 100 before i go back to my normally scheduled broadcasts but my work palace coming down for vortex right now uh we have one idle villager no yeah it was just one one idle villager for starflark he'll be going into feudal age pretty soon as well did put on a little bit of aggression fully punishing or not punishing fully pushing vortex off of the gold which is phenomenal of course because he's not really gonna be able to do much he is Order of the Dragon. He is an HRE variant. So he does need the gold. He, needs, he thrives off of it. Mindwork Palace coming up for Starflark as well. So we're going to have a good game on our hands, hopefully. You know? This is... Our, we should be getting emergency repair as well on the mining camp. There's no way Vortex lets that... What are we getting? Archery range. Yeah, there's no way Vortex lets that burn, right? It's getting awfully close though with the burn damage and then the torches there it goes okay yep so vortex just letting that drop as low as it possibly can before getting it all the way back up as mentioned my work palace coming up for starflark as well he already has oh we're having a few villagers pushing out grab these amazing little sheepies over there or not sheepies amazing little deers Okay, so first Guild Archer is coming out for Star or for Vortex. He is gonna be able to push his Gilded Spear away. A lot of damage. Remember, these aren't like your normal spears. They also have an extra 0.5 range. So they are able to scoot and shoot a little bit better than your normal archer. Of course, all the other things are upgraded as well. But main thing for me, anyways, the main buff is the extra range like that extra range makes a huge huge difference as per usual like i mentioned in a few of my casts last week 
if you do hear, if I do randomly stop talking and the mic is muted, it's because I have to cough. Same thing just happened right now. So yeah, I'm really excited for this game though. I have a cast uh, in Order of the Dragon Mirror and there's so much that could happen, but at the same time, there's so little that could happen in terms of uh, different variances on Build, uh, build orders, openers, for instance, we did see two huge differences in openers. Starflark going with one Rax aggression, as were Vortex, and like only if the uh, the spear, the Gilded Spear, got there five seconds, three seconds sooner. It could have been a little worse for him, for Vortex, because he just had enough gold to get into Feudal Age. He barely hit it with three gold remaining. Like, even if it was 199, you would have to send out a couple more villagers, take in a, couple, a little bit more damage on those villagers, which does open you up to getting more villagers, uh, more villagers killed later on in raids because they've already been weakened. Like, it's not all about just getting kills with your gilded, uh, your gilded archer. I mean, your gilded spearmen. It's about putting the damage on them. If you get a kill, if you push them off, perfect. Like, it's absolutely bonus. Nice stutter stepping coming out here from Vortex on that villager. Is he going to be able to get it? Not entirely sure. Oh. Oh, dang. That was so close. One more shot before that freaking villager went down. Really, really nice stutter step coming out of Vortex right there. Almost gets it. Unable to, though. But like I was saying, it's... It's not about getting the villager kills right off the bat with those units, with the Gilded Spears. It's about applying pressure, pushing them off of whatever resource you want to get pushed, or want to push them off of. And on top of that, it's just weakening them for later on. Because now, he has two villagers that have damage taken already. That's going to be a couple few... Oh, Ragnar's Cathedral coming down for Aero Sensei, aka Vortex as well. And Starflark is so far off from being able to get into Castle Age because of that early aggression. Stable's coming down as well, which means he's going to be going straight into Knights, Gilded Knights, the moment he ages up into Castle. Six villagers are building it at the moment. We have a few villagers. I think it's these. No? Shift cute over there. Nothing really out of our blue order of the dragon player. Nothing out of Starflark quite yet. I want to see what they've scouted from one another. Oh. So nice scouting coming out of Vortex. He does pretty much see. He's pretty much scouted everything out of Starflark's face. Now let's see what Starflark has. Oh, perfect. He has a scout just outside. His man at arms has already peeked in as well. He knows that the Regnitz Cathedral, the timing of the Reg Regnitz Cathedral. He already has horsemen out as well to start trying to punish, but there is a gilded knight coming out for El Sensei right now from Vortex in order to secure up those relics. Starflark is still about two and a half minutes out from being able to build his own Regnets, or building and completing his own Regnets. We do see an outpost and a mill coming up for our Green Order of the Dragon. Gilded Horseman pushing away the scout. Where is the Gilded Knight at? Gilded Horseman will be able to pick off this prelate before the Wololo goes off. It should have been able to. Doesn't want to risk it, goes back in anyway, or gets out and then jumps back in in order to pick it off. Wololo going to be going off on the southwestern side of the map as well. Is Starflark paying attention? He does need to move that man at arms away. He does pull it back in, start killing the prelate, and it should be able to pick it off. Wait up, the sound is really loud. I just noticed that right now. Uh, controls, audio.
No, why is it? Oh yeah. Wait. Um I think I have this at like 60 per 50% when I'm casting. I forgot I was playing a couple custom games earlier. Yeah, I didn't notice it until that Wolo logo went off. The second one. That it was just way too loud. There he goes. Now it's a lot better. Gilded Horseman getting wrecked by the Gilded Knight. The Men at Arms. Gilded Men at Arms unable to pick off the second prelate. The first one has already been picked off. Okay, the Men at Arms needs to start moving. Needed to start moving towards the other towards the other relic where is he at right now he's just gonna go in one relic garrison so far for vortex moving out grabbing a second and a third there's already a second gilded knight out as well that will be able to punish or not punish but will be able to defend the prelate going towards the northern central relic gilded man at arms doing a little bit of damage first blood goes through for starflark he will be able to get a second potentially third kill as well if vortex does not pay any attention meanwhile prelate on the western side of the map picking up a second relic excuse me third relic second relic was already picked up over here on the north central side gilded knight able to defend that prelate and now it's going to be walking back slowly only one villager has went down one severely weakened, another one at about half health. Two villagers go down for Starflark. The counter aggression from Vortex doing its job, doing some work. One relic, three relics total. One relic garrisoned, two relics on the way for Starflark. Gilded, two gilded knights already for Starflark, and three for. Vortex. Oh, double production coming through for Starflark. That's how he caught up so quickly. So at this rate, he could be popping out some horsemen plus knights just to just to make use out of both of his stables at the same time. And the gilded the gilded horsemen still do a decent amount of damage. So it's not like they're gonna get completely wrecked or anything. If you do throw them in, if you do add in a couple, sprinkle them in with your uh, gilded knights you should have enough more than enough damage to be able to take on mass well in this case mass gilded knights but in low numbers another two villagers do go down for our blue order of the dragon player the harassment coming out of vortex is doing, doing a pretty decent job another knight gonna be able to pick off yeah, another villager charge goes off they both hit different. The charge hits one villager and then the auto attack hits a different villager. So unable to secure two villager kills right there. Nice reaction time by Starflark though. That was really, really nice reaction. But Starflark's gonna be losing a knight on the western side. Vortex potentially gonna be losing a knight on the northern side. Three relics have been garrisoned for our green Order of the Dragon player. Still some, some mild damage coming through. Oh, second, third knight. Three Gilded Knights against one Gilded Knight on the western side. There is an outpost here. No emplacements, though. None whatsoever. He should be getting the sprinkled emplacement in there. And now we have Gilded Spears and Gilded Knights for Starflark. This should be enough oh that's not a good thing okay vortex does realize the unit composition there but two knights do take a decent amount of damage two of his gilded knights do take a decent amount of damage those gilded spears those gilded spears they're good they're really good especially in this scenario where it's like low numbers some more harass coming through but there are some gilded spears here in order to defend on the western side we have three against three one goes down for each side but it still looks like well yeah starflight will definitely be winning that fight there was no if ands or buts about it his three units are just healthier in general charge goes off okay nice little chase they do need to back off before they get baited into other units such as the three gilded crossbows that are currently out. What are you transitioning into, Mr. Starflark? 
Our Chileno. Our Chilean. Chilean? Chileno? Chile. Chile Chilean. Yeah, Chilean player, right? I always forget what it is in English because in Spanish it's just. It's Chileno. Village is going to be going down. Six villager kills already. Four. Vortex. He's going to be getting quite a few more. Eight, nine. Wow, this is. Now, this right here is game changing damage. Like, completely game changing damage. And there's no reaction either from Starflark. Like, he's just completely. He's, he's completely lost it. He's not doing anything. Is he pushing out somewhere? What is he doing? Yeah, he just completely gave up. He completely gave up. That was straight up game ending damage. But GG does get called. Game goes to our green order of the dragon player vortex thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time